first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so this special data interpretation video or specially made for the students those who are going for a cat level exam as well as students those who are going for a bank mains exam so in those exams you can able to see a very difficult data interpretation so in order to crack that i will be posting these kinds of difficult data interpretation videos so do not forget to watch all my videos but remember one important thing before watching this video you have to know this the same data interpretation question what i am going to teach now is available as a test so first visit my website or my mobile application there in a quantity quantitative aptitude session you can able to see at the last data interpretation bracket means so inside that the same question what i'm going to teach in this set available as a test first write the test and check what is your score whether you are getting 5 out of 5 or you can't able to understand the da itself so first write the test after writing the test come and watch this video for solution without writing a test if you watch this video completely 100% the video will be useless no use so first write the test and analyze what is the mistake that you have done where you have done the mistake and then watch this video right definitely it will be helpful for the students those who are going for cat exams and bank mains exam so let me move on to all the difficult data interpretation question on these types of videos So friends, now let me move on to the third set of data interpretation that is for the mains level. So I hope you have written the test, third set as a test. So I think uh, this set is little bit medium to art level, not so art, but it is little bit medium level. So I think most of the students should get 5 out of 5 in this DA. So in case if you can't able to get 5 out of uh, 5 in this DA, then you have to prepare more, right? You have to solve more number of DA like this missing values. So just listen here, to solve these kinds of missing DA, always you should not take any random missing number and you should not find that. So just, just check what are all the uh, columns and row, which values are missing and then target some easy missing values first. So because you, you, you should not just like that take this missing number and you should not find what value comes here. It is, it is time waste actually. You should see what are all the boxes are missing and which box is easy to find. You can see. I can take this box because this class 11, the students who are playing cricket finding the value is easy. Why? Because we know the row total as well as we know the column total, right? So when you add 32 and 35, when you subtract with 96, resultant will be 29. So that 29 will come here. So this missing number will be easy. Yes or no, right? So always target, first check what are all the values are missing and then second target just check which value is easy to find so find that value first and then target other missing numbers you can surely get all the missing values in the table right so one important thing uh, while solving this question right i remember one data interpretation it was asked in i don't know which exam it is but surely it was uh, before covid time they have asked i think it's bits pilani bits pilani uh, entrance exam or uh, Xavier aptitude test XAT uh, I don't know which exam it was but in that exam they have asked one data interpretation it was extremely good and extremely different it was based on like a Sudoku model you know uh, in the in the newspaper we usually solve that Sudoku so the usually there will be one box which contains small small nine boxes so one to nine you have to put the numbers right and the same number should not be comes in the column and you know right how to solve a Sudoku so similar question right if you write 32 here it was three numbers or four numbers i don't know exactly but if you write 32 here so this 32 should not be on any row and it should not be on any column it was interesting da but i can't able to find the da again anywhere else so i was searching for the da but it was completely different that was asked in 2019 i think it was in bits polani uh, entrance exam okay so sorry for are telling this but i just want to say you these kinds of while solving these kinds of da uh, i remember that okay so so next will be like just target any other number that you can find here what is the next missing numbers i think uh, this missing number is easy to find why because you can able to see only one number is missing we know 29 20 20 just see one value is 20 percentage and here one is 25 percentage and we know the total right total is what 360 
So out of 360, you have to find first what is 25 percentage. 25 percentage will be 25 by 100, which is 1 by 4. So 1 by 4 of 360, 1 by 4 of 360 will be 90. So we can say that this 25 percentage will be 90, right? So now volleyball total number of students on class 11 will be 20 percentage. So we know that the total strength is how much 90. So out of 90, what is 20 percentage? 10 percentage will be 9, 20 percentage will be 18. So we can say that this 20 percentage will be 18. So friends understood or not, right? So now our target is to find this football value. In order to find the football value, what you need to do is you have to add all the remaining value, subtract with the total 90, resultant will be this missing number, right? So 20, right? 30, 40, 40, 50. 67 67 right so 67 71 so 71 that 81 so this will be 90 so 81 minus 90 will be 9 so we can say that this missing value will be 9 so once understood right so just check what are all the other missing value that we can find I think this missing value will be very easy why because we know the total is 360 so 150 plus 90 will be 240 so 240 a minus uh, 360 will be 120. So we can say that this missing number will be 120. Right. So I think uh, so these two missing values are there. So if I find this value, finding this value will be very easy. Right. So why? Because so first find what is 15 percentage of 120. Right. So 10 percentage will be 12. 5 percentage will be 12 of which is 6. So 12 plus 6 will be 18. So we can say that okay. 18 so 18 students are from class 10 or playing hockey so similarly if we find one value as 18 then finding the remaining value will be very simple why because we can add 30 to 18 so this will be 42 50 uh, 69 right so 50 plus 19 will be 69 79 89 94 so this will be 26 so we can say the total number of students who are from class 10 playing volleyball will be 26 so we have to be much faster on calculation do not write like this 32 plus 18 uh, plus uh, 19 plus 25 so don't do that in the exams because only small values additions we are doing so it is easy to do everything right so now volleyball we have one missing number and it is that too it is very easy to find why because when you add all the three number resultant should be 95 so just add 18 and 26 so 36 right so this will be 36 so 95 95 50 right 51 so this will be 51 so just a minute yes this will be 51 so now what are all the values are missing so let me find what is six percentage so out of 150 we have to find what is six percentage so 1.5 into 6 so 6 5 are 30 remaining will be 3 6 7 8 9 so we can say that this value will be 9 right so 18 20 plus 18 will be 38 so 38 plus 9 47 so this value will be 47 right so what are all the values these two values are missing I think we can add all the values, subtract with the 360, resultant will be this missing number, right? So 9647. Okay, so what I can do is 60, 100, 110, right? 110, 200, 205, so 205, 205, 3, 11. 59 so this will be 59 so next will be 19 plus 9 19 plus 9 will be 28 31 right that's it so friends finally we have found all the values in the table chart just cross check it whether i have made any mistake here so 32 let me check the answers right so 32 28 35 is 96 20 29 39 47 so 26 18 51 it's 95 9 28 yes 59 
so 25 34 60 sir 9 12 16 31 9 18 22 yes correct 360 so always after filling uh, this missing number straight to because we know the total right in case if the total has not given in the question you have to start solving all the five question under this chart but they have given the total row total also given and the column total is also uh, given so after finding all the value just have a cross check with the options right so now let me move on to all the five question so under this chart so here is the first question so what is the difference between the total number of students in class 10 and the number of students of class 12 who likes volleyball right so it's just a simple question our target is to find only the difference right so difference of total number of students of class 10 so total number of students of class 10 is how much 120 so 120 difference of the students of class 12 who likes volleyball so class 12 who likes volleyball will be 51 so 120 minus 51 will be 69 right so we can say that answer for question number one will be 69 second question so if 18 more students took admission in class 11 and all of them like tennis then what will be the ratio of number of students of class 11 who like tennis to the number of students of class 10 who like hockey so our target is to find the ratio for a uh, two number of uh, classes one is class 11 who like tennis so class 11 right this will be class 11 who like tennis is 14 actually so according to the chart the total number of value is 14 so in the question what they are saying is 18 more people are added so 14 plus 18 so 14 plus 18 will be 32 so now the total number of students who like tennis in class 11 will be 32 and for that we need to find the ratio for class 10 who like hockey right so class 10 who like hockey will be 18 so now our target is to find the ratio for 32 is to 18 i think we can cancel it on two table itself when you cancel it on two table so 16 twos are 32 9 twos are 18 further you can't able to reduce it so we can say that answer for question number two will be 16 is to 9 so next question that is third question the number of students of class 12 who like football so class 12 the total number of students who like football will be 31 is what percentage of again x is what percentage of y so 31 should comes in the numerator right so divided by it's what percentage of number of students of class 11 who likes volleyball so class 11 who likes volleyball right so volleyball will be 18 so 18 into 100 so our target is to find how much percentage right so what i can do is 3100 divided by 18 so always look at the options because this i think uh, we can't able to get an exact number something around it will be on a decimal point so after finding each number try to look at the options and choose it right that will be the easy way because we can't able to find the decimal point of three or four numbers waste of time right so what i can do is 118s are 18 because 182 will be 36 so 18 here 28 so 13 so 13 uh, point zero that is 130 right 137 seven eight so 42 seven so seven times right so 172 something around right it goes on so just look at the option which option is nearer to that number you can go with the option right so always finding for these kinds of value do not find all the complete numbers it is not required actually so look at the options after finding number and you will definitely get the option right so this will be the answer for question number three so fourth question so what is the total number of students who like football and volleyball together so total number of students who like football and volleyball together we know the row total as well we know the column total it is you don't want to sit and add this value right just like that we can add both the values 9 plus 5 4 1 10 154 so for 154 So what is the difference between the total number of students who like cricket and the total number of students who like hockey? So cricket and hockey, our target is to find the difference, right? Finding, finding the difference, 9 to 6, difference 47, right? So difference will be 49. It's 49, so 49, that's it, right? So I, I think all the, this DA is completely medium level. So here what you have to learn is 
to know how to find that missing value that is the important part in this set number three dear very important part so why because some students will struggle to find the missing value by taking the wrong choice they usually i have calculated this number first you can also go with this number this or these two numbers right initially it was 25 percentage right so this number was actually missing in the initially and this i think 25 percentage so instead of finding this number first i have found this number first actually but instead of finding this first you can find this number because you can find 90 here after finding it when you subtract resultant will be 120 so after finding it you can find this number a either way you can solve in a different method but remember one thing you should not directly uh, try to find this number right i think this number is missing in the chart if you try to find out this number that is not possible right because it's a small da when it comes to like uh, six columns six rows on those scenarios you have to be very careful on finding the missing value. That's the reason I'm repeatedly telling this. So in case if I get a chance, I can't able to find that Sudoku type question, which was asked in 2019. Uh, I can't able to find it. In case if I find that, I will surely teach you that question because that is very important. For the past three to four years, those kinds of question was not asked in any of the exam. But there is a chance that in the, nowadays in this exam, those kinds of pattern can be asked. Because every year there is a new pattern they are asking in CAT as well as bank exam. So definitely that can come this year right? or upcoming years. Surely if I get a chance, I can teach the DA. Right? So thank you so much friends for watching this video. Uh, if you really like it, share this video to your friends, those who are preparing for the competitive exams. right? So do not forget to write the test. So thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.